Good morning, everyone. It is almost seven o'clock. I've been up working for about an hour and now it's time for my morning break. And on my morning break, I get a bang. I am having champagne. It is delicious. I am going to drink this, watch my morning round of Instagram stories, and then I'll probably be back in an hour or two to try a new flavor of tea. Okay guys, so I put this wild orange sweet tea like in the kettle, like I brewed some tea this morning, like around eight o'clock today, and I knew that I wanted to try a cold drink, and so I've just been letting it come to room temperature for like hours, hours. I'm gonna have to like put this on as soon as I wake up, basically. I took this wild sweet tea and I brewed it. I brewed 12 ounces. Now, the tea is orange, and that's really great. That just lets me know there's a bunch of awesome orange flavors in there. And I let it come to room temperature, and then I put some ice in here, and then I put a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream. I know I was gonna try to keep it low calorie, but I'm going for like an orange sickle drink here, and if this tastes good, I'll keep doing it. Uh, but I put a tablespoon of heavy cream and a tablespoon of swerve so let's see how it tastes. I mean, it looks milky and orange, which is kind of weird to me, but I'm gonna try it. Oh man. Mmm. Mmm. This is really good. Winner, winner, mason jar cup of tea dinner. I mean, this is, this is really good. It is really, Tart from the orange, sweet from the swerve, creamy from the cream, Hey, hey, this is a winner right here. I also bought some passion tea, so I might do that tomorrow, uh, but I'm excited. Not really too sad if this breaks my fast. I mean, it is what it is, but I'm gonna drink this and then I might be able to hold off a while on lunch, so see what's up. Okay guys, I'm about to have lunch. I made it till just after 11 o'clock today. Even with my coffee, mm, tea, I'm still hungry, so I'm finna eat. So today I am having tuna for my first meal. I have this big pack here. I am going to measure it and divide it up into 80 grams. But before I do that, I am going to drain the tuna. So I like super, super, dry tuna. I don't want any tuna juice or any water to be in my tuna. So what I actually do is use cheesecloth to make sure that I can squeeze the tuna with my hand to get all of the juices out. Okay, so for my tuna today, I am having 85 grams. Doing a tablespoon of mayo. Just some regular mustard. This generally, I mean, has like pretty much zero macro, so I just put enough in there to where I moisten it back up. I do 30 grams of relish. And then I'm just gonna throw some green dragon sauce in there for some spice. Give that all a good mix. And there you have it. Mmm. Lunch, and I love it. I'm also having cello wisps. Once again, I am team the smaller the container, the larger the perceived portion. So this is like a serving ramekin. So I'm gonna enjoy this and this and my goodies bake mix cookies that I made. I get two of these for this meal. I mean, and these are pretty good sized cookies. I mean, look at that. So I'm gonna go ahead and taste one now just to let you know what I think about them. Okay, there's the consistency. 
when I, I can tell you this, when I put them into the oven and when I brought them out, they were like very like soft. It looked like they were underdone, but with most keto cookies, you have to let them set up and, and firm up, but the size is great. And of course, I mean, I ate the rest of the batter like with a spoon and it tasted really good, so. Mm. Mm. They are fluffy and cakey. They don't have that chewy texture that regular chocolate chip cookies have. Sometimes I miss that, but I know what to expect with keto cookies. Mm. But the flavor's really good. It kind of tastes oaty, like almost like it was like an oatmeal chocolate chip cookie, but not in an oatmeal way if you don't like oatmeal. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but this is really good. It's not super sweet, which I always heard people say that, and it's not too sweet, and I really like that. And I'm like, uh, the sweeter the better. But actually, it not being too sweet, you can taste the depths of the oat flavor, perhaps. But either way, it's really good. I had these in the refrigerator, so they firmed up and I really do like that. So I'm excited. Mm. Nice texture, yeah. I'm excited to have these. They were really easy to make. Definitely something that I'll, you know, keep in the back of my mind if I want some cookies and I don't want to like mix all the ingredients. Really good. So I'm gonna need my tuna, my cello whips, and my cookies, and I'll probably have a Powerade. Then I'm gonna get back to work. Okay guys, time for my afternoon snack, and I'm pumped. In here I have a cup of almond milk, and I have three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. Uh, normally it would be four, but remember, I used a tablespoon for my tea earlier, and to maintain my macros, I'm only gonna put three in here, and honestly, one's not really gonna matter. It's mostly the almond milk and the Quest Protein Powder. This stuff is so good. I have not gotten tired of it at all. However, I wanna go get another flavor just to see if it's as good as this one. I really like Quest. It tastes great. It is low carb and I like being able to have this. It's kinda like another meal in the day. I love this. I'm gonna go pick up another flavor. Have you had other flavors of Quest? Tell me which one I should get next. Okay, but I got some ice, almond milk, heavy cream. I'm gonna put this in my blender, as well as this collagen. Once again, I don't know anything about collagen. Just doing it because it's a fad. I don't know. I took this collagen in my shake all last week. Don't really think I noticed a difference at all. Didn't take anything away, doesn't taste like anything, but does it help? I'm not gonna say. Is my hair longer? Are my nails thicker? You know, none of that stuff. I don't know what it's supposed to be doing, but it was cheap and it can't hurt, right? Okay, taking 30 grams, putting it in here, put that in there. Gives it a little pre-shake, you know what I'm talking about? Let it rip. And I found that the longer you let it blend, the less gloppy it is. So I'll let it rip for a little bit. All right, let's give it a taste. Perfection, perfection. What flavor should I get next? I mean, whoop, this stuff is good. Okay, so I'm gonna get back to work. Okay guys, it is dinner time and I'm about to have my barbecue bacon bunless cheeseburger. So let's look at the lettuce wrap situation. So here we have a lettuce wrap. I have already put down 15 grams of this sugar-free barbecue sauce, which is life. And then 15 grams of this Primal Kitchen uh, avocado oil chipotle lime mayo. It's not my favorite, I mean, it's not craft, okay? I want craft, I want canola oil, you know? But I know it's not good for me and I'm trying to be better. I mean, it tastes good and I really like the spice, but it's just gonna have to be something I get used to. Right now I'm going in with a layer of jalapenos. Just got my burger patty out of the microwave. Woo! Next, I'm gonna hit it with some American cheese while it's still warm. 
top it with approximately 20 grams of onion. Then I'm just gonna top it with some pieces of bacon that I heated up in the microwave for 30 seconds. And there you have it, folks. A handheld, ooh, boneless cheeseburger, ooh. I'm about to smash. Okay, I'm gonna eat this and then I will show you when I have the Jell-O and Zevia. Okay guys, that burger was literally everything. I am now about to have a lemon lime twist Zevia, which is really good. And then two cups of Jell-O. And then I have a piece of gum. It is Trident this week. I like that over Orbitz, but they're all fine. So I'm just gonna have this, some gum, and I'm done for the day. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. And you can also find me on Instagram, at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll catch you next week.